Coming up, Anthony Hopkins meets the great outdoors, Hollywood style. Hollywood screenplays often set the action in the most precarious places imaginable. On cliffs, over water, or on the mountains. The aerial riggers specialize in making the unfilmable filmable. The pioneer of this outdoor specialty was John Thomas, founder of Thomas Special Effects. John had a real love for rigging. He, he really liked it, and he saw an opportunity to begin to specialize in that area. And uh, over a period of years, he, he brought in people from other areas who had river experience, cliff and mountain experience, so that he could take these type of systems and apply them in an outdoor environment and, and, and give these dramatic shooting situations. John Thomas passed away from cancer in 1994. But his legacy lives on under the direction of his widow, Betty Thomas. For The Edge, the Thomas crew has come to Canmore in Alberta, Canada. An inspiring location for star Alec Baldwin. Alberta is one of, if not the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. The people have been lovely. The crew has been fantastic. I would love to come back here and make another film someday. In one scene, the film's stars are chased by a grizzly bear and they must cross over a log spanning a raging river. Hopkins' character falls when the log is shaken by the pursuing bear. For safety reasons, the location chosen is not a rushing river, so the Thomas crew has built a temporary dam. When it is opened, it will release enough water to create the illusion of wild rapids. I think the biggest risk we have here is your face around those limbs, so just when yes. you're going off, let's be really aware of those sharp branches. Yes. I think that's the big risk here for us, is one of those branches in your face. Yes. Above the river, stuntman Alex Green tests a rig that will allow him to safely fall off the log. Betty Thomas, who is also the film's stunt coordinator, has rigged the scene to fulfill director Lee Tamahori's vision of the action. Uh, Kevin, is Alex ready? With the testing complete, the cameras roll. Shooting over raging waters is not uncommon in motion pictures. Following in the footsteps of legends like Tom Mix, the aerial riggers of The Edge are allowing star Anthony Hopkins to safely perform close-ups while suspended above the heavy currents. It was such a, uh, a demanding role physically, even the stunt guys and our safety guys on the city. You know, it's not a natural environment to be in. Hopkins is fitted into a climbing harness to be worn under his clothes. A safety wire is attached to the harness and runs up his sleeve. The wire will suspend him above the rushing river. When the cameras are set, Hopkins' support system is removed, and he appears to perilously dangle from the log by his shoulder bag. The director calls for white water. The safety rig performs flawlessly. The completed scene convincingly places Anthony Hopkins in peril, taking the audience out of the theater and into the wild. Thanks to these motion picture adventurers, film crews are able to take the action anywhere. The stuff that they are capable of doing is pretty it's pretty spectacular. Um, also, it frees me up to, I don't have to worry about a damn thing. It's a total level of confidence in, in what they do. They live for this stuff. Whether scaling the cliffs for high suspense, or safely putting Hollywood stars in hazardous situations, 
The pioneers on this special effects frontier are the aerial riggers. From the top of the world to a raging canyon rapids, the sky's the limit for these adventurers and their brand of movie magic. <laughs> 